In this video, we will cover brush application of a basic isolation coat. Before you apply the isolation coat, mentally divide the painting into sections so there are easy and natural starting and stopping points. This allows us to complete an area of the work and move forward without much risk of drying time issues. Begin by pouring out some of the isolation coat into a wide flat pan. Load your brush about a third of the way up the bristles so that you maintain good control of the product. For this demonstration we are using a watercolor wash brush with good memory. In this first area of the painting there are textural lines we are working up next to. As you can see we are initially just trying to get the isolation coat onto the surface of the painting. This allows us to keep everything wet and then we can focus on evening out any puddles or brush strokes. Now we have jumped ahead a little. Look at how we are following the curved lines of the painting. Following the movement of a work masks any brush strokes that may have not leveled. However, since the isolation coat is thinned with so much water, there often are very few, if any, brush strokes left behind. Once again, we have jumped a little in this process. Now we are following a long straight textural line at the bottom of the piece. See how we are predominantly moving forward across the painting and leaving the first area alone. You will want to resist the natural urge to go back into previously applied sections and finesse things, as this can lead to surface defects. Off camera, we have completed the areas to the left of this blue section we are currently coating. On even larger pieces than this, it may be challenging to coat the entire painting without running up against some tricky spacing issues. By using this method of following the natural movement of the painting, you can always choose to stop and allow an area to cure or just to take a break. It will be almost impossible to see lap lines because they follow the brush strokes already in the painting. Also, if after your isolation coat has dried, there are any areas that you have missed or a brush hair you need to pull out, another layer of isolation coat can easily cover up the minor defects. Now we are nearing the end of this application. Have you noticed how we have not approached any of the previously applied areas? This cannot be stressed enough to work calmly and quickly moving forward. Before you start applying isolation coats to your finished paintings, it's a great idea to make some sample pieces. This way, you can gain confidence in the time you have to work the product, as well as take comfort in seeing any milkiness clear up during drying. 